Hey dolls, this is Vanity. So I'm coming to you with a full makeup haul. Now, during this summer, this was the first summer that I actually switched up my makeup routine. Um, I stopped wearing concealer and I stopped wearing foundation. I was just doing bronzer because this is just too hot and I didn't want to feel heavy as far as in my makeup and you know, all the blotting and you're sweaty. So yeah, um, now that the fall is approaching, I want to get back into my old routine as far as makeup. I don't know, you know, sometimes I know I don't actually really need foundation. Um, and I just, I don't know, you know, sometimes you just want to have it. So yeah, I went and bought me some foundation. And this actually is, it has turned into my favorite foundation. So the foundation I bought was the um, MAC Matchmaster. And I am a 7.5. Um, I think I could actually go to a 7 um, during the winter time. But I'm just going to stick to the 7.5. And it's really, um, it's really like, a, it's like a light to medium coverage. In my opinion, it's like a kind of a medium coverage. Um, one pump can do my whole face, or is it two? I can't remember because the last time I used it was in the winter. I think January was my last time using this. But I think one to two pumps, I know, definitely can do my whole face. So I love it. And this was $33 and change. I know um, the MAC prices went up. Um, I also bought a MAC foundation, I mean, um, a MAC Studio Finish Concealer, and that's my favorite concealer. It's the only concealer I use. Like, I buy this faithfully. Um, I've been using it since I was 21, and I'm 28 now, about to be 29. Um, non stop. Every time I run out, I have another one back up. So, I'm running out of my last one, so I went and bought a new one. And I use the color NC50, and um, this is my exact complexion, but now that I'm using it, like now when I use it, I can tell that it's really not my complexion. It kind of looks a little dark on my skin tone, so I might be, I'm actually lighter than it, but I love this, um, this color on me, so I'm still going to continue to use it. Okay, so those are my two purchases from MAC. And this concealer used to be $16.50. It is now $18. Like, they are ridiculous with the prices. Like, OD. I think I spent about $55 on those two items in MAC. Like, I was just, like, really disgusted. <laughs> um, okay, so... I did want an under eye concealer and I was going to go with the MAC but I had other priorities so I went with something cheaper. So I went to Dwayne Reed and I purchased a couple of items. Um, I got a Black Radiance concealer stick and I actually have a concealer stick by Black Radiance now. I won't use it like as far as like on my eyes but I don't mind using it just as a highlighter for underneath my eyes. Now, I just went and picked out the lightest color they had, and this was the lightest color they had, which is, it's kind of basically my skin tone, so yeah, that didn't really work out. Um, I have it on, I mean, you can see it a little bit, I just really have to put a lot, and then I have to go in with like a lighter powder so that you can see the, you know, difference, but yeah, if you see these, these are, I think these are, yeah, $1.99. Um, they actually are really good. They're thick and I love the thick consistency when it comes to concealers because the whole point of a concealer is to conceal. So I really like the thick consistency with the concealers and this is really nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm only going to use this for underneath my eye just for a little highlight effect. Um, so I ran across these nail polishes and the first one is Wet n Wow and it's a fast dry nail color and the, the um, it's called Party of Five Glitters. And it is just a whole bunch of different glitter colors and it's like, it's like really like these round glitters, it's really pretty. Now this will look nice over a nail polish. Um, when I did it alone, it looked nasty, but <laughs> I really think this will look nice with another like nail polish underneath. Okay, and I think that was a dollar ninety nine. 
Okay, so next up I have this Milani nail lacquer. And this was $3.49 and the color is Disco Lights. I thought this was the most gorgeous color like that I've ever seen. It's like a rose gold. So I picked this up. I just really love this. I cannot wait to put this on my nails. So gorgeous. Um, I also got this NYC Cheek Glow. Um, and the color is Cherry Blossom. Now, I actually put it on, but it, I could barely see it, but I'm, I'm swatch it so you can see it. Swatching it is like really hard because it really just looks like a, like a glowy, like a little glow on my complexion. Like you could barely see it, but that's the color. And this was a dollar ninety nine. So um, on my lips I have the Jordana lip gloss, and it's the Squeeze and Shine Super Shiny Tasty Lip Gloss. It does have a taste; it really tastes good. Um, and the color is Tahitian Tea, and you may have seen this like on my channel so many times. Like every time I try to get makeup, I pick these up if I see them because this is my favorite lip gloss. And um, the reason why it's my favorite is because it's like having Max Spite. Um, Cause I, Max Spite is my ultimate favorite lip gloss. Um, now Max Spite is fifteen dollars, <laughs> and it really doesn't last that long. Like, and it's really hard to come by because it is really like popular. So um, Tahitian Tea is a good dupe, but. You would have to put like a lot and also it has a shine to it, but it's still so pretty. Like I really, really love the color. Let me put a little bit more so it could. So this is the color. Like it is so pretty. It's like the perfect nude for my complexion. So I love it. And once again, this is the Jordana Squeeze and Shine Lip Gloss and the color is Tahitian Tea. And last but not least, I have three Wet n Wild um, lipsticks, and they were two forty nine. Now, depending on where you go, you could get them for different prices, but they were two forty nine here. So I got Just Peachy, and it's a peach color. Now let me swatch it. So that's the swatch right there. And then I got. Think pink and it is a like a tinker bellish pink, very light pink, and it's very close to the um, just peachy color. This is it right here. And last but not least, I got the Wet and Wow. Um, what is this? Dollhouse pink. I don't know how I forgot that. This is my favorite pink lipstick, and that is the color right here. It's the most Barbie dollish lip color pink you can get and it is just so beautiful oh my gosh it is gorgeous this is my favorite lipstick color for um a pink but um yeah those were my items that I'm starting off with for the full and I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions um definitely leave a comment or if you just um just anything, whatever. Just leave a comment and I will get back to you. And I will also list all the information on these items in the bottom bar as well as prices, okay? Bye, dolls.